Hello everybody, Kixie here, and today I got a quite a big update to my tutorial machines uh, item database. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. So my original design was pretty good, but it had a few issues here and there. Uh, one of the biggest issues that it had is that it would give you the items in a random order. And so I have fixed that, but it does require 1.7, or at least the latest snapshot towards 1.7, uh, because it uses the hopper minecarts, which are very helpful, because they're basically movable command blocks, and it helps out quite a bit when it comes to commands and uh, not being able to change the coordinates. So with it being able to move, it changes the coordinates basically for it if you use the uh, tilde instead of an actual raw coordinate because the tilde is uh, basically wherever it's positioned is where it sets the coordinate so it's relative to where the command block is and so yeah let's get right into it uh, you can see I have nine empty slots here which are each of the item slots for your inventory and so it starts with one down here so uh, let's just grab I'm going to grab all the items in one row so you can see that they give it to you in the correct order. So let's get redstone first. You'll see the minecart takes off and it sets a command block there. And now you have to wait for this redstone to power off and then you could select the next one. You don't want to go too fast because it will accidentally set too many command blocks and it has a few errors. So you just have to kind of take it slow. I'm currently working on it. This is just my first raw pro prototype. You can see I don't have it dressed up all that much. Everything's kind of scattered around. So uh, I need to mess around with it a little bit more. Also, I do want to note that this cannot be copy and pasted currently. Uh, it relies heavily on coordinates, so it has to be in one specific spot. I will eventually make it all based off of like the tilde in that. But the issue with the tilde is you have to program every single command block or hold on uh, sorry I lost count one, two, three, okay this one uh, so yeah uh, with the tilde each and every command block you have to set with a specific uh, command like a uh, specific coordinates so like these what you'd have to do is on the z-axis each one would be like tilde plus 11 tilde plus 12 tilde plus 13 so on and so forth so each and every one would have its own individual command and that's a little bit uh, a little too much because or it's a little much to type into every single one because uh, this is only two layers which holds 13 or uh, 30 items but these are completely stackable so we could put however many of these we want so uh, using the tilde in that, it'll be a little annoying to have to type all that in. But then also once it's done, it's just going to take me a while to program them all. But once it's done, I'll make a schematic for it using MC Edit, And then you'll be able to copy and paste this into any world that you want. The only issue with that is it'll have to be directional. You have to make sure it's facing a specific direction or else it will mess up. Uh, so you can see over here now, we have 9... Uh, command blocks here which are set under each of the uh, each of the repeaters and over here we have our traditional tutorial machine and now I actually found something very interesting so when I use tilde which is relative to uh, I thought it was relative to the command block that is giving the command but I found out that if you use a slash tp at player it's relative to the player not the command block so what I did here is I was trying to make it where it's really nice and easy so you could just set up a tutorial and then you could just activate this wherever you are and do a tutorial instead of having to reprogram each of the command blocks to give you specific items. And so this just takes it one step further and it's very helpful. And what this does is not only does it give you the items that you want specifically without having to edit commands, it also teleports you 
without having to edit commands. So before I would have to give the coordinates of wherever I built the tutorial platform, but now all you do is build the tutorial platform 50 blocks above your uh, preview platform. So this is like the preview, you're just like explaining what you're going to be giving the tutorial about and showing off what it is. And then when you actually go for the tutorial, it takes you to the platform. So since this is tilde 50 on the y-axis, it's uh, the y-axis that you are currently standing at plus 50. And you could set that to whatever, like my uh, normal tutorials are about 200 blocks in the air, just so you can't see anything below it. So you can see I have a little preview here. And then we do a splash potion and you're instantly up at the top and we have every single item that we selected in the specific order. And you can see I spawned here. I didn't spawn dead center like I do in my tutorials. I spawned exactly where I was standing on the previous block. So I just thought that was very helpful because you could just make these little preview and uh, tutorial areas throughout the map wherever you want them. And it will take you directly to it instead of having to reprogram the coordinates in the uh, teleportation uh, function over there. And so, like I said, you could match all these items. I did them in the uh, correct order. And now this is the pretty fun part. Uh, so let's say we don't need a comparator. So we come over here. That's the third item in our inventory. So we click the button on the third item and we could just go ahead and get rid of that. And now what do we want to replace with it? Let's grab a building block. So over here you can see the third item is now missing a command block. So if we come over here, select that, you can see now it replaces that with the uh, new command block, which is the building block, uh, the stained clay. And if we come over here and give ourselves the items, you can see now we have stained clay in the inventory spot that we had a comparator. And so it's fully customizable. You could remove whichever ones you want, and then you could re-update them and uh, put new items in those spaces that you wanted. So we could just put the comparator in like the 8th slot now, or 7th slot. And then we have a clear all command. Oh, it was still doing stuff. Uh, so we have a clear command there, which clears all of them. So you have all the inventory slots cleared. And yeah, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.